Hello and good morning. Today I'm excited to be back with a new project. Many will recognize this famous circuit that is very useful in electronics. The main uses for this circuit are in construction of induction heaters, including some commercial induction heaters such as commercially available cooktops, as well as to drive flyback transformers to make very high voltages. Today I wanted to explore what would happen if instead of having a work coil shown on the right here or a primary for a flyback transformer, what if we just connected that output directly to a light bulb? So let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious about this. Before go any further, let me show you some examples of Mozilla drivers. So here's one that you can buy off of eBay. This is made in China. It's a very durable unit, compact and efficient. Here is something that I put together, which is kind of larger. So they come in different shapes and sizes. Okay, let's just connect it up to a power source and see what happens. Nothing is connected to this driver. So let's see what happens when I connect it up to 12 volt power pack. That's interesting. It kind of oscillates. Let's see what happens if we connect the output of this 12 volt pack just to a regular light bulb. So there really isn't enough voltage to run this 120 volt, 60 watt light bulb. Now, let's connect the bulb to the output of the Mazzilli driver and connect the 12 volts to the Mazzilli driver and let's see what happens. Let's try this homemade driver and see if it does the same thing. Same bulb. Nothing else connected to the Mazzilli driver. Here goes. That's pretty bright. Really awesome. In this part of the experiment, I just added a coil of wire in parallel with the light bulb to act as a kind of work coil to see if it changes the frequency but still allows the light bulb to light. So let's check it out. The frequency has gone up and the light bulb is still lighting. Here's a much smaller coil, which should give an even higher frequency. Here's another 120 volt light bulb. Let's see what happens with this. And it's so high the frequency you can't hear it. But there you go, it lights it. Any comments, suggestions would be really appreciated. And please come back for more developments in this interesting use for a Mazzilli driver besides induction heaters and flyback drivers. If anyone can think of any ways to improve this or make it even better, that would be really, really cool. So do look forward to hearing from you and uh, any suggestions you got. And please don't forget to subscribe and check back.